Hello, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you three easy hairstyles that are perfect for summer, special occasions, or just because. I'm also going to share all of my tips and tricks to create this curly, voluminous look to help elevate your hairstyles. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know which of the hairstyles was your favorite. All right, let's get started. Hair prep is everything. We want these hairstyles to be big, bouncy, voluminous, and believe it or not, my hair is actually quite thin, it's quite fine and flat, and naturally I want what I don't have. So let me show you how I create big, voluminous hair. So I'm very excited because today's video is sponsored by Grow Gorgeous and I wanted to share with you their intense thickening shampoo and conditioner as well as the original hair density serum. So these are caffeine enriched and they make such a difference in the thickness and the body of my hair. These are my go-to for voluminous looks. You've seen me use them for years and I know how much you love them too. Plus they're vegan friendly, they're gluten free, they're formulated without any harsh chemicals so they're nice and gentle on my sensitive skin. So I just finished washing my hair with the Intense Thickening Shampoo. My hair is already almost dry. It's so hot in here, but this will just wake up your hair at the roots. I make sure to use a generous amount and it creates the most luxurious lather. And then after I massage it into my scalp, I like to pull it down the strands of my hair just to ensure extra volume. And then I followed up with the Intense Thickening Conditioner. I just apply this from my mid lengths to the ends, really squeezing it in. And and then I let it sit for about two minutes. But I find pairing these two together just gives me the best results. And I'm really curious, do you match your shampoo and conditioner or do you use mixed matched? And I'm gonna finish it off with a couple drops of the Hair Density Serum. This is a staple in my hair care routine. This just helps to stimulate your roots and helps give your hair that thick, full appearance. I like to work in sections, but I'm gonna take about this much. I just apply it to my fingers spread it out like this in between my hands and then I press it into my scalp and this also contains hyaluronic acid which really helps to soothe and moisturize my scalp especially along my hairline here I really try to give my hair the same love that I give my skin I think it makes such a difference right, I'm just going to apply a little bit more around the crown but whenever I use this I always get asked does it leave behind a residue but not at all it's super lightweight and it makes such such a difference. Just wait until you see my hair blow dried. It's huge. But you can shop these Grow Gorgeous products at Ulta, so I will leave links to them in the description down below. Okay, and very quickly, I want to share my tips to get extra volume in your hair. So my first tip is blow dry your hair upside down. And then after you're finished blow drying, clip your hair on the top of your head while it cools to add extra lift. All right, quick interruption. I just had to show you all of the volume in my hair. It is huge. I love it. All right, that's it. Back to where we were. Now, always pin the top sections. That way, when the roots cool, they'll have a rounded shape. When curling your hair, part your hair over an inch farther. That way, when you're finished, you can flip your part over and you will have crazy volume. And of course, don't forget your volumizing products. They make such a difference. So hair is prepped. I'm actually going to leave it super curly. That way it'll just fall naturally and it'll stay curled for longer. But let's start the hairstyles. So we spend all that time prepping our hair. So this first hairstyle is a really beautiful way to accent it. So create a side part and section off the hair that's about one centimeter back from your hairline and this will frame your face. Next, gather a two inch section of hair at your part and once you've completely sectioned it off, you just want to secure it with a small hair elastic. And when using these hair elastics, I like to place a clip underneath my section. I find this really helps with tangling and breakage. Next, create a topsy tail by creating a small hole above your elastic and flipping your ponytail up and pulling it all the way through like this. Then gather a slightly larger section underneath that top one and then you want to divide it into two equal pieces. And then place that top ponytail in between these sections and then tightly secure them over top to create a pull through. And then flip them up and pull them all the way through the hole above to create another topsy tail. And be sure to pull on the outsides to tighten it up. All right, gather another section below that topsy tail a little larger than the previous one and you want to join in that first ponytail. Also, you can clip your sections out of the way if that's easier. All right, divide this new section into two 
and you want to place your previous ponytail in between your sections and then secure them together, remembering to tighten them up. So now you should have two ponytails and you want to create another pull through braid. So take your lower ponytail, divide it into two and just secure it over the top of that top ponytail to create the pull through. And then you guessed it, create another topsy tail. Now this time you want to gently pull on the sides, the top of your topsy tail to fan it out and this step completely transforms the hairstyle. When you're done, remember to pull it tight and you just want to continue creating pull through topsy tails all the way down your section. I believe I created about six or seven, but you can definitely create as many as you like. It's actually kind of fun once you get into the rhythm. And you may have noticed I didn't pull the topsy tails apart at the top of my head. I just find it more flattering if they are flat. Now to finish off the look, you can secure your braid just above the nape of your neck by crossing some bobby pins through the elastic and pushing them towards the center. And there you have it, a beautiful braid to accent your voluminous curls. And you could also secure this into a ponytail. You're going to love this next hairstyle. It's the best trick to create a longer, more voluminous ponytail. So first gather all the hair above your ears and don't forget to pull out any face framing pieces. And I'm just smoothing everything with my hands, no brush, and this will create a more natural look. Next, secure your top section into a half up look and you wanna create a topsy tail by making a small hole above your ponytail and then flipping your ponytail up and pulling it all the way through. And if you have a topsy tail maker, definitely use that, it's much easier. Now pin the topsy tail up out of the way and secure the remainder of your hair into a tight ponytail. And you wanna pull up and out on the sides to raise it so that it's just below the top one. This part is key. Okay, here's the magic. So unclip your top topsy tail and pull that lower ponytail up and all the way through that topsy tail. And then just tighten both ponytails to perk everything up and you can already see how much volume this step has created. Next, pinch and pull on all the hair all throughout your crown to add extra volume and to blend the whole from the topsy tail together. And I really love the detail that the curls from earlier added. I just think it looks so pretty. But tighten up your ponytails one last time and go ahead and tease the upper third of your ponytail and touch up any curls on the top if you need to. And there you have it, a super voluminous, full ponytail. This is definitely going to be my go-to look for summer. I love how it came out. Next is a very effortless tousled bun. And my favorite way to create this is by placing my thumbs behind my ears and tracing upwards to where I want my bun to sit and then pulling out any face framing pieces. Next, gather the remainder of your hair and join it into that top section. And I really love using my hands, no brush, to just create that effortless look. Next, secure your hair into a tight ponytail and I used a DIY hair bungee to secure mine. Now, divide your ponytail into two equal sections, so a left and a right, and then divide your left section into two equal pieces. And you wanna create a simple rope braid, but you could do any braid. So twist your right section clockwise once or twice, and then cross it over your left section. Now that left section is on the right, so twist it clockwise once or twice, and then cross it over the left section. And then you just want to repeat, and don't worry about it being too perfect. The messier, the better. Especially because before you secure it, you just wanna pull on the outside of your braids to fan and loosen it up. Then secure your ends together with a small hair elastic and I left out about three to four inches at the bottom because I wanna leave them hanging out of my bun. I love that look, but if you wanna hide yours, just secure it closer to the bottom. Then create another rope braid on the right side. Now, time to wrap. So you can do this however you want, but I like to bring that left braid underneath my right and loosely wrap it counterclockwise so that my ends come at the bottom right side of the bun. And then pin your twist into place, and I used U-pins, and these are amazing. Then wrap your right twist clockwise around your bun so that your ends come out the bottom left side. Now pin everything into place by sliding the pins through the outside of your twist and then in towards the center. And then go ahead, pull on your bun, make it big, voluminous, and messy. And you also wanna pull on the hair at the top and the sides and the back to just really loosen up the look. 
Now, when I think of a hot summer day, this is the hairstyle I imagine. I love how effortless yet beautiful it is. I really can't wait to see your recreation. So there we have it. What did you think? I love this ponytail. I just think it's so cute and fun for summer. But I really hope that you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And as always, I will share pictures of the final look over on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.